11.5 area of similar figures. Uh, if two polygons are similar, then their areas are proportional to the scale, square of the scale factor between them. Uh, so what does it mean to be similar? It means that the corresponding sides uh, have the same ratio. right? So this was something that we went over in Algebra 1. Um, so then that means that KL and PQ, well, let me go ahead and write this out. This is going to be KL over PQ, the ratio between those uh, corresponding sides, is equal to the ratio of JK over RQ. Um, and then that's equal to the ratio of the hypotenuse, so it's going to be JL over RP. Right, so then if they're proportional, I mean, if they're similar, then that means that these equa this equation here holds, right, it to be true. So if we have two polygons that are similar, which is that uh, symbol right there, so they're saying that this triangle is similar to this triangle, um, then their areas are proportional to the square of the scale factor between them. So we're given that the area of JKL is 40 square inches. So 40 inches squared. And so if that's true, um, then how can we solve this problem, right? Well, first we need to get the scale factor of the two triangles. And how would we do that? Um, so we have the area of this triangle. So the area is one half base times height. Um, so first thing we would need to do is find KL. And we can find KL because they give us the area of the triangle. Um, and I guess additional information we would want here would be that these are a right angle there. And this is also a right angle, which means that 10 is the height and KL is the base. Right? So if that's true, then we could find KL because the area of JKL is equal to 1 half the base, which is KL. I'm just going to do base um, times the height, so times 10. So then that's going to equal to 5B is equal to the area. And we know the area is 40, so we're going to do 40 over here. Divide by 5, and we'll get base is equal to 8. Okay, so the base is 8. Now, they give us that the triangle JKL is similar to triangle PQR. So the scale factor that I'm going to put together is, so I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. So scale factor is equal to, um, and I'm going to do JKL's part side over the corresponding PQR's side. Right? So it's going to be KL over PQ which is going to be KL is B, which is 8, over PQ, which is 12. So that's our scale factor. Um, and so how does this work? Well, we don't know the area of this triangle, right? So we got area, which is unknown, of the PQR. But we know that their areas are proportional to the scale square of the scale factor between them. So here's a scale factor between them and they're proportional to the square. So what does that all mean? That means we're going to do JKL's first is similar to PQR. So we're going to do JKL's area is 4D over PQR's area, which we don't know is A, is equal to, is proportional to, uh, the square of the scale factor. So the square, like so. Okay, so this is the equation that we're going to create. And now we can solve for A. But first, you need to remember uh, the power of a quotient. How do we do it? Well, the power gets distributed to the numerator and the denominator. you got to remember that, right? So it's going to be 40 over A is equal to 8 squared over 12 squared. So let me go ahead and rewrite it over here. Uh, so we get 40 over A is equal to 64 over 144. And then now we can solve this pretty easily by using the means extremes theorem, right? We'll multiply the uh, diagonals. So it's going to be uh, 64a is equal to 40 times 144. I'm going to need a calculator now. And so it's going to be 40 times 144 is equal to that big number. So we get 64a is equal to 5760. 
And then from here, we're going to divide by 64, and we'll get the area of the uh, PQR. So let me come back over here, and I'm going to divide by 64, and I get 90. So 90, and then uh, remember, our uh, units is n, uh, inches, um, and our, uh, our area is always in units squared, so we get 90. So anyhow, this is how we're going to solve these types of problems. Let's do the problems on the back, and then I'll come back and review them.